Hey guys, welcome back to the first CG Matter Default Cube tutorial. And today I just wanted to share like a really quick uh, trick that is very useful because there are add-ons that do what I'm about to show you and sometimes you have to pay for them. But it's actually a feature built into Blender and that is flattening uh, UV islands is what we're gonna be talking about. So here I have some simple model. It's this kind of distorted pipe cylinder thing. And what's important is that it's not flat, right? It has this curvature, which is gonna make UV unwrapping not that nice. And we'll see exactly what that means. So if we go to UV editing, uh, currently this has no UV map. So we're just gonna create one the way you would. So we're gonna, uh, in edit mode, select edges, and then we're just gonna create some seams. So I'm just gonna select this loop uh, to isolate this cap. We're then also gonna wanna isolate the other cap. And then basically the standard way to unwrap is to connect these two caps either with like a curve going along here or on the bottom. Typically we do the bottom, you know, to hide the seam. So let's just do that. And then all the way to here. So here is what we want to be our seam. This is probably the standard way to unwrap uh, pipes and all that. So let's just right click, mark seam, and there we go. And now all we have to do is unwrap this and then we'll see what the issue is. So select everything, you unwrap, and boom, we have our UV unwrap, which has two islands for our caps, which are fine. Those are flat we projected i don't know what the word for that is so we have a flat projection here it's a circle flat projection here it's a circle no problem but the abdomen the um yeah the abdomen is what we'll call it uh, has this distorted nature which is fine if you want to optimize for area and angle stretching that's what blender does but if you want a texture paint it's not very good because it's going to introduce all this distortion so let me just show you what i'm talking about so if we apply some basic uh, material, like for example, we can add in a checkerboard texture. I guess it's just called the checker texture. And we need to make sure this is set to our UV map. So control T if you have node wrangler enabled, otherwise just add texture coordinates. Uh, we're gonna set this to UV to use our UV map. And you can see flat here, flat here and a bit of distortion elsewhere. And let's actually just scale this up so we can see what I am talking about. So you can see it's flat, but over here you have this kind of weird distortion thing going on. It really isn't that bad, but it definitely exists. So how do we flatten this? Uh, how do we take care of this? So back in UV editing, the trick is basically this. You wanna pick a central face to the island. So for example, I don't know, this face right here is pretty central. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate this and then stretch out that manipulation to the rest of the island. So we're going to pick a face like uh, this one, which I guess we can show what that corresponds to on the mesh. So if we pick this one, I guess that is this top face, which is opposite from the seam. That's usually going to be a trend. You're going to pick the one opposite. And even though it looks perfectly rectangular, what we're going to want to do is make sure that all the vertices are aligned. So you're just gonna select the two bottom ones, scale on the Y axis, which you know lets us do this. There shouldn't be much separation already, and just click zero. We're gonna select that, scale, Y, zero, and we're just making sure that everything's aligned. So for these two, we do scale X zero, scale X zero. So if it wasn't already a rectangle, like if it had a bit of skew, now it definitely is. And then all you wanna do is select this, and then click L to select the rest of the island. And then we're just gonna type in the command. It's called uh, follow active quads. And then this is fine, these settings, just click okay. And you can see that it flattened out our island perfectly. It's a perfect rectangle. And now if we go over to shading, you can see that this has no distortion. It's really nice. And it's great for texture painting because if you make a line, it's gonna remain a line that's not gonna have any kind of skew to it. Um, so let me just undo that. So again, you really want to pick this optimal one. I'm not sure exactly what happens if you pick one like, I don't know, over here that definitely has skew. We can try it. So uh, let's just do this one, I guess. Scale, um, this one's Y0. And then you can see we're basically just leveling this out. You can see what's happening. Uh, scale X0, scale X0. So we flat flattened this out. Select L to s select the rest of the island and then we should be able to just right click, yeah, and then follow active quads. And you see that works too, so maybe it doesn't matter what you pick. But I recommend picking one that's already close to a rectangle to minimize your work. That is a tip. Do not pay whatever amount of money people are asking for uh, to do this in an automated way, okay? Nonsense. Do it for free. Hopefully this helped.
there you go. I tried recording this once before, but I messed up the recording. So I'm glad I got this on the second take. If you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe, I guess, if you want more tutorials. And I have a Patreon that you can donate to if you want to do that, because it supports not really this channel, but it supports CG Matter, which is me, which is a good thing. So hopefully you enjoyed. See ya.